Welcome back and good morning. So as you can see, things are just a touch different here. This is the game changer for my office. With the way the lighting is, you've got lights really on this side, and other than ambient lighting, it gets darker over here. It looks a little brighter through the phone than it actually is, but you know, that can be changed and stuff like that, but that's not where the light needs to be. Eventually there'll be something over there just if you need to access so I'm going to put some more storage and stuff over there. So, temporary lighting, I guess you'd call it. But This really, really needed it. Staring at the print and watching the first layer go down and stuff is important. And grabbing my flashlight and sitting on the floor and looking at it, pain in the ass. So I did some research and I found on Amazon the actual original or OE light kit. It was on sale, next day shipping soft white I don't it, man, it looks pretty realistic compared to what I'm seeing with my eyes versus through the phone it's a little blown out right here through the phone but it's soft so it, it's not like a 6k color it's more like 55k if you know color temperature so it's it's not that like my headlights on my car where you get that blue tint to it it's not at all the light is just from here to here it wires down through the back. I did that last night. It tucks behind. You can't see anything because there's a little cover in the channel. And it runs underneath all of this to the motherboard. Plugs in. Took me probably seven minutes to do. And I took my time. So as you can see as it's printing, you can significantly see a lot more. Having an absolute blast with this. Messing with settings and learning and having some fun. As you can see, obviously I've got some green PLA. I printed a part for it so that helps take the tension off when it's going into the drive so it's got its first layer down so I need to change my bed temp just a little bit back up just give me any time to snow so I've got the z-axis really locked down and this thing has just been printing phenomenal. This is going to be a PS5 controller holder, <clears throat> but also will hold the Avada controller because it's basically the same size. So when I put it on the desk, I can put it in a row with them. Um, big step for this I'm learning is cleaning the bed to get some, um, basically alcohol, like you know, glass cleaning glasses material type stuff. So I'm going to get a little spray bottle today. That's my mission after I mow the lawn. To get that done but it's fun I'm learning I can't wait to start really doing some kick-ass prints I printed that yesterday that was a 10-hour print came out really good gotta clean up a little a couple snarls a little here and there but watching this thing print from beginning to end was pretty cool so when I'm building I can put screws and stuff in here when I'm separating all kinds of cool stuff. That would have helped the other day when I completely gutted this thing, took it all, all the stuff out of it and separated it and reorganized it. That was some OCD right there. Receiver should be here today when FNChat shows up. So I gotta put some servo plugs onto the servos because it doesn't come with them. The magnets on this thing are incredible. There's a lot in here already, and it's not even... So, soldered some Y adapters to the ESC. ESC does not have a back, so the power that's coming from it is going to be what the battery is providing, and that's why we went with the receiver we did that could handle the power. The Panda RC VTX, it has a beeper in it. Um, I'm still debating if I want to wire that in, if there's a way to... If I can get a switch, like an arm dis use the arm disarm or something like that to get it to beep. And it also has LED ports. There's four of them meant for like the underarms of a quad. And um, the reason I went with this is because this had factory LEDs. 
that were built in and they were smart LEDs so based on what mode you were flying it uh it changed color and stuff like that so I was able to utilize what was there and then set it to what I wanted it to do so they have different patterns and you can separate the color between the two which is really cool so I think actually close really easy this thing's gonna be a little fun ripper I'm not flying it far this is not designed to do some epic mileage or anything that <laughs> I'm hoping I can get it so it flies around the yard um, and I've had some good luck with other quads with just that. It's a decent sized VTX. So I think we'll have some fun with that. But I'm going to look up some print colors. I have some other ideas of things I want to print, but I need some other colors. This was obviously the first choice. And then I'm going to have to come up with some kind of rack system. Giggity rack. To um, hold some filaments. So, thanks for tuning in and following the new journey. If you have any recommendations or advice, help, because this is super new to me, let me know. Hit me up. I can take all the advice. I can I'll take it all in.